Hello everyone, my name is Arthur Shinio. I'm the Director of Product Marketing here at Smart Modular Technologies. And today I'm here to introduce a new product that we have. It's called the NV Nitro Accelerator Card. This is an NVM Express compliant 1.2.1 card, but it's based on new MRAM technology from a company called Everspin, that's our partner. Magneto Resistive Random Access Memory. And the benefits of that technology are the main one is persistent. So any data that's written through this card is persistent in, in the MRAMs. It also has high endurance. It can operate at high temperatures. And it has very low latency. So it's, uh, it's operating at a DRAM speed on this card. And what we're showing here today is a comparison of the NV Nitro card versus an Intel Optane SSD. If we think about a trading application, for, for example, financial trading, if you were to plug this card into a server that does trading, you would see approximately a ninefold increase in the, in the number of trades that can be done using this card versus just a standard SSD alone. And the way that's done is normally synchronous log buffers need to be committed. So they can't be lost due to financial trading regulations. The data has to be saved. So if you normally have to write to an SSD, that takes a long time just due to the flash itself. If you can write at DRAM speeds to the MRAM cards, then you're dramatically able to increase the system performance by using this as a write accelerator or a ring buffer. So the data is written to the card in bytes, memory map mode, and then pushed back out to the SSDs in block mode. So there's never any system bottleneck. This system can run as fast as we possibly can doing trading activity with this NV Nitro card, whereas if you just use an SSD alone, it can't do that. The data we're showing here is megabytes per second, IOPS, and latency. This is a benchmark called EZFIO. And there's a summary chart shown here. On the left-hand side would be the sustained random writes, and the right-hand side would be the sustained sequential writes. So those are different use cases. The sequential or the, the uh, sustained random writes would be the financial trading case. As you can see, IOPS in the block there, the blue block, very, uh, uh, very big increase. And then the green line would be reduced latency. So you're getting high speed access, a lot of activity with no worries about wear out. At the same time, the data is being saved on the card. So again, a ninefold increase in the case of financial trading by adopting the card. There are no hardware changes. There are no memory reference code or BIOS or file system changes needed. You can just plug this card in and achieve the benefits. The last point would be normally you'd have to use enterprise SSDs to achieve the high speed performance. In this case, when you adopt this card, you don't need enterprise SSDs and the costs associated with those. You can switch to client SSDs because the accelerator card is already doing the transaction logging at high speed and being made persistent. So the, the need for those expensive cards is eliminated. So if you'd like more information on how to adopt a Smart's NV Nitro card, please contact Smart Modular Technologies. Thank you.